We uh, talk about your uh, much anticipated arrival in, in Winnipeg. I know that everybody was pretty excited after the year that uh, you had. A, how have things gone uh, for the first two or three days here? Yeah, it's been awesome uh, to meet meet the players and the staff and uh, see the facilities and uh, see a little bit of the city. So it's been great so far. Uh, so maybe just fill in the blanks from uh, last year, right around this time when you were drafted in Montreal and uh, uh, Tadao, uh, uh, what, what kind of a season did you have? I know you had a little bit of an injury situation to have to develop or to deal with rather, but uh, overall were you pleased with uh, your post-draft year? Yeah, I think so. I think I played uh, really great until I got injured. I missed like three months or something. Uh, then I got back in the playoffs and I think I play good uh, but uh, I think it's w would be nice to get that full healthy season for me uh, how disappointing was it for that injury to occur when it did because it sounded like you were gonna have a chance to play for Sweden at the World Junior yeah I was, it was really disappointing uh, it was like I think, you know, like like two weeks before uh, the tournament so uh, but I have have a chance this year to play too so uh, yeah you mentioned that you had a very good year. The reports are that, uh, you know, for a young guy like yourself to uh, to make the progress that you did at that level in your home country was was pretty impressive. Uh, you must be as confident then as, as you have been uh, uh, since uh, getting drafted. Yeah, I think uh, I had a good develop. Uh, I think we have great, great coaches there. Uh, they were like, really good. Uh, so it's just like keep working hard, uh, keeping humble, and uh, yeah. yeah what that, that, oh, go ahead. Say, what did that playoff run mean for for your game? I mean, obviously, you know, you, you talk about the improvement you had through the season, but you guys go all the way to all the way to the final. But yeah. you guys are always playing high level. Yeah, yeah I think it's uh, it's a great experience uh, to to have that kind of uh, run in the playoffs. Uh, so we're gonna. Take that with me and build on it. What are your goals for this coming season, Elias? Um, yeah, my my goal is just take more steps, uh, come, yeah, work on everything, be stronger, uh, and then have a top road back home in Sweden. Uh, and then we uh, see what happens. What stands out to you about the group of defensive prospects that you've been skating with the last couple of days? Yeah, it's many right right defensemen. Uh, <laughs> that's nice. Uh, but yeah, it's great guys. Great to be around. Uh, I have a lot of fun. Uh, so um, yeah, great. Who are the guys? Uh, and Jimmy Roy, uh, the director of player development, talked about developing relationships and uh, uh, how important that was coming into this camp. Are there guys who you didn't know on Tuesday who you've become better friends with uh, now as we speak to you on Thursday? Yeah, I think uh, Bauer, uh, pretty funny guy. Yeah. Uh, take take good care of you. Uh, so uh, I think I know him a little bit better. Are there, are there guys that you knew in the organization before? Uh, I knew who Anton Johansson was, and then Fabian Wagner played with him some, uh, yeah, some national team. Uh, so, and then I yeah, played against a few others too. Uh, so, yeah. Thank you.